Hey, Pipes. Yeah, thank you. Fuck's going on here, mate? <laughs> then you owe me a few answers, bruh. And if you don't tell me the truth, that's just going to make my mood angrier. <laughs> Where the hell is plans and why the fuck is this goose standing up? <laughs> What, you mean to tell me this poo handle and Zoolander is dudes manning up? Oh! Yes. Well, fuck nicotine. I don't care if you're fitty deep, I'm bringing beef. One punch, you'll leave him purpled up and leaning. And yeah. kiss to me. Mm. If I'm battle rap shop a reed, then you look like a Neville Bartos mini me, midget brief, <laughs> who should never show his face on camera. Dicky knee. Oh! Yeah. You, from that, you from that first wave Aussie battlers set to be a star shining? But when the views drop off, they duck out and you can't find them. You know nothing about the dark times, stark reminders, hard grinder, but now the battling's cool again. Your heart cries and you ask pipes for a large slice of the card price for you to start rhyming, you craft biting, freeloading part timer. <laughs> Just waltz in here and rob plans by predicting what he'll do. <laughs> Spit some cheap ass jokes and get to win against the dude. You just heard Kay talking about that comedian R. Williams in the news. Eh? Well, just for robbing W's, I'll leave you swinging from a noose. <laughs> That's an industry where the majority snitching. Yeah. The cats are dogging. Your business makes a commodity with him. With, with the job that you're in, the chance he'll bottom his little. If he's brandishing a bold statement, he probably got it from dribbles. <laughs> hey, so this for all my people that got lost in a system. This is for all my friends that got a cop to conviction, I'll do this. For all my homies that are locked up in prison and put this prosecuting lawyer in a box like a witness. <laughs> So bring your tazzy jokes and your bogan jokes. I'll just step to the side. I'll just stand over here and pretend I'm surprised. Give it up for that round, bro. Holy shit. Here we go. First round on next team is here, yo. Right. Now there must be some racist organising these battle events. So to speak, two of the biggest bogan rappers and then they give me Dundee. Holy shit, it's happened again. So you know the protocol, I will diss all of your Anglo-Saxon family friends like uh, Aaron and Jen, Sharon and Ken, Karen and Ben, fuck it, Darren and Glenn. A fucking cheap racist sketch, let's re-raise the bets. Another pre tawny favourite, I will e-raise and set. This is an A-rate rapper versus one C, great or less. So how is D-rated best? You are D-rate at best. So fuck your hole. That pocket knife is not a knife, I've got a knife on me. Rockin' moccasins, funny ocker styles, MC. After this, you won't even get called by Devastator's dumb league. Which means not even that crocodile Dundee. You get the picture? Hey, and I like when you told Barry he's the link between monkeys and cavemen. Fucking amazing. Now, was, was that a joke that you wrote or just another you've taken? Like how you said plants is so old, this ID has hieroglyphics. You actually use 1990s kids jokes to write your lyrics. <laughs> or how you said Gabby has a wooden leg with the kickstand. And Lulu has a neck in her le a mouth in her neck and she chews like this. Damn, those were some jokes we'd never heard before. We watched Eddie Murphy's Raw. <laughs> when it comes to stealing jokes, you would get a perfect score. I'd say we plan to every battle. Hmm, how do a pen a verse on Shaw's gonna get deserved applause? YouTube Melbourne Comedy Festival and Edinburgh tours. Wow. <laughs> so man up, Dunners, we're demanding honesty. Time to put your hand up and treat your fan club properly. You say you bash cunts, noggins, do a jacked up robberies. The only thing you're stealing from is stand up comedy. Wow. <laughs> punchlines and puts him in his raps. That's the fucking biggest joke. A slap in the face to all of us who come up with shit with rope. <laughs> we can't trust the word he says. That means dance a shifty bloke. Let me put it as you say it. I hope you suck a dick and choke. <laughs> Cause after I big plans, I was calling up the bookies like I've got to be the favourite. I'm sure that's where they put me, but the favourite is him. Cause reportedly these rookies got a soft spot for D cause they're all a bunch of pussies. <laughs> So no more three round classics, this is over in one. I'll kill
until this bogan for fun and this has only begun. They say the tournament favourite is supposed to be done, so tonight I'm showing him how it's supposed to be done. Saying all of us are pussies when your mum's pussy looks like a fucking Wookie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but your effort in this tournament ain't impressing me, dude. It's been the same shit every time, it's a repetitive loop. You've dealt with a lineup of bogans on the regular, true? You ain't a rapper, that's a glorified Centrelink cue. <laughs> Coming back and this tawny was bloody mad, but after your last two opponents, I started realising something, lad. The only reason you've accepted to do these battles, you gutless fag, was so you could tell Bogans what you really think of them without getting fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. LJ's like my cousin there and you've been picking on me uncle plans and welcome to the fucking fam after I son him bad he be calling done his dad. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you think you wanted the best in the game? Oh, shit, you about to fall from that position. Thought you'd just write another chapter like your story isn't finished. Thought you'd just jump back on the court and you'd be balling in an instant. Come, this is Jordan team with Pippin versus Jordan with the Wizards. I'm the best I've ever been, you're falling short of your beginnings. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you came here for the love and answered the call for Australia. I just came to make it rain in blood like I'm recording with Slayer. I mean, you got, you got the swag of a fucking gypsy accordion player. <laughs> Plus, you look like Peter Andre if he was shorter and gayer. <laughs> but I have dealt with you before, cunt. From a young age, I was a Siggy fiend. Since I was 15, I smoked a pack a day, plus I was spinning weed, but for the last three months, been off them durries and been living clean, so I'm about to make it a second time this year that I want to battle against nicotine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nico, please. Hey, are you trying to be ironic, homie? You're not a smoker. That's like me changing my rap name to MC Not a Bogan. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, like, that's like me trying to say my neck tattoos suit me to a corporate job promotion because it's either that or your name's just a reference to what a fucking cox is smoking. <laughs> so at the end of the day, all I can say to the judges, when you're choosing who to fly to the UK from this country, instead of putting faith in him, why don't you place it in Dunners? Just remember, my addiction from the age of a youngin, apart from the decay to my lungs, I was left with basically nothing. Raping my budget, spending 20 bucks a day on them fuckers. If you're paying for his flights, it's just like paying for durries. You're spending up on nicotine, you're fucking wasting your money. <laughs> Bring your fist down the hole, let's see it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now I heard your old man owns a pub, lad. Why doesn't he let you run that? I mean, you're like 30 years old, you're not exactly a rug rat. It's probably because he's embarrassed his son looks like a drug rat going through a rough patch thinking he can bust raps. Could you imagine this guy doing stock take? He'd be like, What's up, Dad? Listen, I want to cut back on the nut snacks and pub taps because I want to get a gun tat and put it near me nutsack. <laughs> That's what all the thugs have. That's what all the thugs have. Get him, bro. That's what the... Sorry, guys. Gun tat, put it near me nutsack. That's what all the thugs have. But see... It's reverse psychology. See, he does, uh, sorry, we all deserve apologies. He does reverse psychology. Because he acts as though he's from that poorest dirt economy, urban poverty, but his father turns a profit from a commercial property. Uh, See, Don, you can ask my mates. We don't have a million dollar property. I mean, maybe we will if we win the fucking lottery. <laughs> so that's why I'm not impressed by how many blokes you step to. Security won't reject you because you own the venue. <laughs> I mean, he lives in the pub. I can just imagine it now. 
This larrikin clown smashing massive amounts of jackpot around to security pounds the bouncers carry him out. Mm. Then they stop, they turn around and put him back on the couch because it's actually his house. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, if you don't want to be thug life and drunk vibes and we're done signs, then fuck it. I'll just prove him a better rapper when I use punchlines to combine his pub rhymes with gun crimes. Yeah. Like, check this. So when I walk in with that big barrel, that's when I open up the keg, bad poor, good shot, I'm blowing off his head. When he, when he hears me start ringing, that last round is what he gets, and it's a Shiraz, Shiraz, he's gonna pour a lot of red. So that's the punishment you get for trying to run a scam. I will son of Sam done his fam till my gun is jammed. Who's next? Alright, give it up for that round, yo. Third and final I've done is let's get it. Talking about pubs and security, I will burn this little door. Motherfucker, how are you gonna say that when your brother's over here working on the door? <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't bought his incest bars, but how my brother fucks my sister hard and my mother is my missus bar to your mother and her siblings are from a country where there's incest bra. <laughs> Having arranged marriages all the time and your second cousin or your distant aunt and guess how I knew your mum's heritage? Cause it smelled like curry when I fingered her so I came in a bitch's mouth and told her to fucking get it in there. Yeah. I mean, I've heard of Macklemore, so who the fuck are you? The Macklewog? <laughs> Take, taking selfies in the mirror while you're jacking off the fashion blogs. <laughs> well, stop jacking off, you faggot gronk. It ain't occurred to you that you're a massive knob when you walk to work every morning in slow motion doing the hassle off. <laughs> You got, you got Greek misses, Greek parents, Greek mates in the burbs, and Greeks used to have blonde hair back in the days, what I've heard, so I'll get some Muslim hoodlums to run a train on your bird just to remind you of how your ancestors got raped by the Turks. Oh! Hey, 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 your history bars coming. Because if, if he's what it means to be proudly Australian, then fuck it, I want to be Maori or Asian. <laughs> these double standards when it comes to battles. I get called inred because I come from Tassie, yet plans cop shit from these drop kicks because he called this cunt a packy, so we can diss on someone's gender, sexuality, disability, their fucking family, the ones they love, the girl they're marrying, but bringing up race is such a travesty. Yeah. And if you're, if you're like, well race ain't the same in comparison, Dunners. <laughs> hey, that's exactly what I mean by double standards, you muppets. Yeah. <laughs> Today, if you can't handle the subject, here's a tip for you. Don't watch the battles, you fuckheads. Yeah. 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 So, so that racist card you put on plans ain't gonna fly, dog, please. You're the one perpetuating that stereotype, not me. Looks like the only time you'll ever serve me in your life's gonna be when you're bringing me my fucking latte up on Ligon Street. Yeah. Yeah. You know what proves I'm just a veteran with words when I choke in my second and it's still better than your third? <laughs> I get this. Now in my last verse I had gun bars chucked in the end and to be perfectly honest I'm not done with it yet. Let's play some Russian roulette. I'll put that gun to your neck to match that toaster on the right. I'll hold up one to your left. Oh. But see he makes fashion jokes about the shit that I'm in and when he does it automatically just gives me the win because he says I'm a metro but I'm less of a fashion victim than him because he pays grown men to colour up and pretty his skin <laughs> see there ain't a tattoo on me done as I'm a clean skin because I'm comfortable with that look I've always been in but I guess being comfortable is something Mickey ain't so when he's feeling insecure he gets another lick of paint that's why you and me are different we aren't at all alike because I don't dress up as a bikey who can't afford a bike. <laughs> he deserves a good pole bash until his skull smashed in. Someone told this Richie he won't get with Nicole just because he dresses an old mate Joe Madden's old fashioned. Because even with them tats, you're as boring as a six pack of Ritz crackers. But you married a good looking girl. It's a mismatch that shits backwards. <laughs>
because you've got no slick swagger, no good look, and no pimp factor, so it proves he must roll in stones. How else did Mick Jagger? Oh. Yes. See, most Australian battle rappers are truthfully whack, and half the fans are fucking dumb. You're proof of the fact. Like, I didn't understand half the words he used in his act, but I like the dude with the tats. He's fucking rude when he raps. <laughs> and you know exactly what you like. So you act Australian and proud. Next battle, who grab a flag and start waving it around. <laughs> like, I'll kill any fucking foreigner. Tasmania is my town. It's Wolf Creek. That's how we see Mick Taylor to the crowd. <laughs> All right, give it up for that uh, battle. You and that's the guy you really want to rep us overseas though So what I did tonight was a lesson to his ego Get the freaking memo, I'm letting Mickey Heath know I'll send him out a tweet as I'm stepping into Heathrow He's <laughs>